Hi, it's Erica here from Me To You Paper Crafts, and I'm here today to show you how to make this cute pocket card. Now, I don't know if the actual card, the pocket card itself is cute, but oh my gosh, this animal is so adorable. And this comes from the Animal Outing stamp set from the annual catalog. This is a suite, so there's lots of things that you can coordinate with this, including the designer series paper, which we're going to be using today. There's some really cute prints in that. So I'm basically going to show you how to make this card. All of the card measurements and basically how to put the card together will be posted on my blog. I will do that as soon as this video is done. So you'll be able to go over there and get all of that information. It really is a cute card to make. I actually made one for a client of mine who won my, um, I have a prize draw for a $100 gift certificate. It's called Get On Board to Win. And so she won a $100 gift certificate. So I made a card similar to this and then I printed out my gift certificate and then I just glued it on the back of this card and then wrote my greeting on here. So that's the reason I made the card. You could also um, attach a gift card to this. Um, or you can insert a little bit of money in there, whatever you want. All right, so let's get started. As I said, the card measurements will be posted on my blog, so um, you don't have to worry about what the measurements are at this point in time. You basically start with a half a sheet of eight and a half by 11 uh, card stock, all right? And then what you're going to need is your stamp and trimmer. And what you need to do is to do some scoring. So on the horizontal side, you are going to score this at one and a half inches. So I'm going to slide this all the way over here. I'm going to score this at one and a half. Make sure you kick away your cutting blade because you don't want to accidentally cut your paper, which I have done a number of times. And you're going to score this one and a half, and then you're gonna move it all the way over to four and a quarter, which is your halfway mark for a regular card. And you're gonna score that again. All right, that's all you need your trimmer for, so we can put that away. So you're going to basically fold this in half, and I didn't bring my bone folder over here, which was silly. I'll just use my fingers, but I really like my bone folder because it creates, um, it makes your card lie flat, which is handy. And then you are simply going to fold this over like that. All right, and that's the basic basis of your card. Then you need uh, two strips of designer series paper. So I cut this from the designer series paper from that suite. It's absolutely adorable, lots of different prints. On this one, as you can see, I use this cute print with little tiny frogs on it. It's absolutely adorable. And then the reverse of that. And for this card, I'm using the little alligators or crocodiles. I'm not quite sure what they are. And we're going to use this and then um, a reverse side of uh, plain green. All right, so you're going to just basically take your tape runner and you're going to tape these pieces. I think I'll put my little um, alligators or crocodiles on the bottom piece, like so. And then we'll do this top piece. Now, when you're putting the second piece on, make sure you line up the edges. Now, I didn't center this one very well, but that's okay. We'll just line this up on the left hand side like that and pull it over to the right all right so that's basically that now to hold this in place you could do a couple of different things um, you could use uh, um, some glue dots along the edge. You want to be careful not to use anything too wide on the edges here because you have to fit your card insert inside. So what I chose to do is to use a stapler. Now, unfortunately, Stampin' Up! doesn't have this stapler available anymore, but you could use any stapler and just go, you can butt it up against the fold and as close to the edge as possible. And this stapler doesn't seem to uh, 
keep the staples down at the bottom. See, it's causing me problems. Hang on a sec, I'm just gonna grab another stapler. All right, so I'll just grab this little tiny stapler. And I'm gonna staple the side like that and the other side like that. Okay. All right, now I'm going to wrap some ribbon around this card, but I want to stick this down first of all. So um, you can use um, your tape runner, but to really get it to stay down, I think I'm going to use our tear and tape because I think it will stay down better with that. Remember that when you're using tear and tape to make sure you really burnish the tape so it gives it's really well stuck down. And then I like to use my pokey tool, just run it along the edge and pull it off and then just fold this down like that. Okay, so there's the basis of your card. All right, next I'm going to use some ribbon. And I'm basically just gonna tie a knot. So I'm gonna wrap this around the back, like so. And I'll be covering over those staples in the back. So I'm just gonna do a basic, simple little knot here. through like that you want to tie this as tight as you can get it I don't know if you're noticing what I'm doing here but I am pulling more on the left ribbon didn't turn out very well let me do that one more time this thick um, is this a grow grain ribbon what kind of ribbon is this um, tells you what kind of ribbon it is finely woven it's not the easiest ribbon to work with to be honest my finger on that put this over and under I feel like I'm all fingers today some days I can do a great ribbon and other days I'm a little bit hopeless I don't know why but anyway here we go here we go here we go okay so I'm gonna hold the right side down and I'm just gonna pull on the left it's going wonky, I don't know. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm gonna give that a pull. Okay, now um, it wants to turn over. This is um, not working out as great as I thought it would. But it will have to do. So, let me grab. I do my videotaping over on another craft desk because this is where I have my um, phone set up. To do my videotaping so it's not um, I don't always have all my supplies here so I may have to run around a little bit but helps to keep the weight off all right so there's my my little knot now um, what I'm going to do is to keep that in place is I'm going to take a couple of glue dots off my roll here I do this often with ribbon to keep it from sliding around. And I'm just gonna open that up and just stick a little glue dot there. And I'm going to stick another glue dot there. There we go. Okay, so now we're ready to um, do this part here. And um, I am using, again, the um, hippopotamus. 
I want to give you a little trick because I've mounted this up on dimensionals so he's kind of sticking out uh, I want him to be quite sturdy so what I've done is I stamped him and then I colored him and I chose to use my watercolor pencils to color him and then I just ran it over lightly with my aqua painter just to blend it a little bit and um, then I cut it out with the framelits. Now, what I did as well is I took some thick Whisper White cardstock and I cut out two more uh, images. All right, and so what then I will do is I will glue these together. So you're just creating a stronger image and I like to use my Tombow glue because I can move it around and get that into position and then I will add glue to the next layer and put this colored image on top now and make sure that those are lined up properly. So now you have quite a thick image which should hold up onto your card. So I'm just going to set that aside for a second. Ooh, my glue is dripping out here. I haven't used this glue for a long time. Sorry, that's kind of a goopy mess there. Let me put the lid on. I'm trying to avoid that spot. Okay. All right. Um, all right. We're going to do this piece now. Now, before I adhere this layer to this layer, I want to make sure I stamp my greeting and so because this is um, a large animal I want to say thank you big time so I'm going to pull out thank you big time and I'm going to grab an acrylic block and my black ink Here we go. And I'll just put it in this upper right hand corner here. There we go. Cover my ink before I get my fingers in it. And now I can put some tape down. Now I like to stand up when I'm layering, if I can see, get a bird's eye view as I call it. I can usually get it pretty straight, or you can use your grid paper to line it up with. All right, so there is my card insert. Put that in like that. And there's lots of space in there because we use the staples. All right, now we're ready to do the hippos. So I'm gonna add some dimensionals. I'm using up all of the dimensionals that I've had left over from my paper pumpkin kits. Because you always get a lot of extra. And if you're lucky, you may never have to buy any more dimensionals. All right, so let's stick these on. I'm just sticking them on the bottom because I want him to stick out at the top and I'm going to position it below the ribbon just so it sticks to the paper and stick him on like that and then I'm going to add maybe uh, let's see I'm not going to add those on that green let's see what have I got over here we will add some pearls because they'll show up nicely on the uh, Let's add some pearl. They'll show up nicely on the this green here. Whoops. Runaway pearl. We'll add three of these. I used to use pearls and uh, the rhinestones all the time, but now Stampin' Up! has the most amazing other embellishments to use. Okay, give those a good press. All right, there's your card. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, I will post everything on my blog and uh, you can go ahead and make your own. 
please uh, make a comment and if you'd also like to um, you can go to my from me to you paper crafts uh, Facebook page and if you'd like to post a photo of your card I would love to see it so thank you so much for watching everyone and we'll talk to you later bye